Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Polling to elect a new vice president to be held tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to chair 7th Governing Council meeting of Niti Ayuk on August 7. Government says projected population of the country is 137 crore 55 lakh in the current year. And Nokluck Deputy Commissioner Hiazo Mero says combating child trafficking menace requires intervention of cross-section of stakeholders. Now the news in detail. The polling to elect the new vice president will be held tomorrow at the Parliament House between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Jagdeep Thankar is the NDA candidate, while Margaret Alva is the opposition candidate for the vice presidential election. The vice president is elected by the members of the Electoral College, consisting of the members of both Houses of Parliament, in accordance with a system of proportional representation. The total number of electors are 788 members, including 543 members of the Lok Sabha and 233 members of the Rajya Sabha, as well as the 12 nominated members of the Rajya Sabha. The counting will take place at the Parliament House after the voting tomorrow. The term of Vice President M. Vengaya Naitu will end on August 10. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will chair the 7th Governing Council meeting of Niti Ayuk on 7th of this month at Rastra Padipawan's Cultural Centre, New Delhi. The meeting will pave the way for synergies towards a new era of collaboration and cooperation between the centre and states and union territories. The agenda of the meeting includes crop diversification and achieving self-sufficiency in oil seeds, pulses and agri-communities, implementation of the national education policy and urban governance. The 7th Governing Council meeting will endeavour to finalise a roadmap and outcome-oriented action plan on each of the themes. The centre today said that the projected population of the country is 137 crore 55 lakh in the current year. In a written reply in the Lok Sabha, Minister of State for Health and Family Dr. Bharti Bravin Bawa said this projection is based on the report of a technical group on population projection July 2020 chaired by the Registrar General of India. On the question of controlling the population explosion in the country, Dr. Bawar said the government accords top priority to the National Family Planning Programme, which is guided by the tenets of the National Population Policy 2000 and National Health Policy 2017 to address the urgent need for family planning. Nogluck Deputy Commissioner Hiazomero today highlighted the district's share of porous international border and the many cases of children from the poor families across the border and within the district taken to other towns in the state for education and as domestic helpers. He was addressing the district-level sensitization program on combating child trafficking observed on the occasion of World Day Against Human Trafficking under the ages of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav in Nokla. He said that combating child trafficking menace required intervention of a cross-section of stakeholders. National Commission for Protection of Child Rights consultant Kapil Sharma stated that the role of NCPCR is to ensure that no child in the country is deprived of basic and inalienable rights which includes survival, development, protection and participation. Additional Superintendent of Police Nokluck, Ngu Kimunken, urged civil societies to come forward for any case that arises and urge them to spread awareness of human trafficking. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. Home Minister Amit Shah today launched Two Darshan's mega historical Hindi serial Swaraj, Parat ki Swatantrata Sangram ki Samakra Katha in New Delhi. This 75 episode series will present the closest history of India's freedom struggle and lesser known tales about Indian history. The Home Minister said the endeavour of this series should be to make Indians feel proud of their culture, values, and ancient texts. He urged the youth to take pride in the country's ancient culture and history. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said that through this series, youth can learn about the sacrifices of the freedom fighters during the freedom struggle. 
He added that the stories of freedom fighters will evoke a sense of patriotism and make every Indian proud of their glorious past. Agriculture Production Commissioner Y. Kikedo Sema yesterday urged the people of Nagaland to focus on producing their goods since Nagaland has high potential for horticulture, agriculture and organic goods. He was speaking at a training on packaging of fresh and processed food products of Nagaland under Azadi Gambrit Mahotsav, which was held in Dimapur yesterday, stating that better packaging helps reduce loss and damage and wastage of products. Kikedo said it enhances product value and helps expand the market within and outside. The commissioner further added that the appropriate package contributes to environmental protection and ecological balance. Childline Director Tsusu Meri said that many cases under Boxo Act 2021, protection of children against sexual offences, go unreported for multiple reasons. She was addressing the Childline Advisory Board meeting in Gifre yesterday. She said many parents are reluctant to report cases due to apprehension on affecting the career of their children in future and due to the negative implication from the society. The meeting highlighted that there was need to conduct awareness program for church leaders and student bodies on child-related issues in collaboration with all the stakeholders for effective and timely reporting of cases to the child line. It also suggested setting up a child-friendly room in the police stations and checking nighttime hangout places of children, observing that a good number of substance abuse users among the children are also encouraging robbery. The meeting also pointed out that there was no gynecologist in Gifre District Hospital. Gripa Foundation Director and Advisor to Nagaland Users Network Abu Mere yesterday said that the HIV AIDS Act is a rights-based legislation that seeks to prevent and control the spread of HIV and AIDS and protect rights of persons affected by and vulnerable to HIV or AIDS. It extends to the whole of the country. He was speaking at an advocacy and sensitization program on HIV AIDS and drug related issues in Jokama village organized by Nagaland Users Network and UN. Mere also said substance use disorders adversely affect the social fabric of the society and its dependence affects both the individual's health and disrupts family. Therefore, he called upon stakeholders for collective effort in addressing substance use and abuse problem holistically. Program manager NUN Jakama Viku Koto Rolnu said an individual needs help of doctors and professional health workers to overcome drug addiction. Rolnu also informed that opiate substitution treatment is an organized treatment program aimed at prevention of HIV among the people who use drugs. Longleng District Task Force for COVID-19 meeting on Wednesday deliberated on the current status and scenario of COVID-19 in the country. The Deputy Commissioner Taram Raj shared the importance of vaccination in the district and urged all government employees and organisations to get vaccinated. During the meeting, the House discussed on creating more awareness campaign in villages and towns with various stakeholders. It also deliberated on organizing special vaccination drives, collecting data from vaccination portal and directly contacting beneficiaries yet to get second and booster dose. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Polling to elect new vice president to be held tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to chair the 7th Governing Council meeting of Nidia Yuk on August 7. Government says projected population of the country is 137 crore 55 lakh in the current year. And Nokluck Deputy Commissioner Hiazu Meru says combating child trafficking menace requires intervention of cross-section of stakeholders. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.